Hey, what's up guys? It's Jordan. Today's next to my Pokemon Top 5s. This is Top 5 Steel Types. Now, of course, two things to note before we get started. One, this list will not include Legendaries. I plan on making a list in the future just for them. And secondly, this list is based on my personal favourites. It's impossible to list the best because everyone has different opinions. So if you don't agree with my top five, make sure you let me know yours in the comment section below. And of course, make sure you hit that like button because you know your support is greatly appreciated. Notable mentions, let's move right on to our top five. This is top five still type. Coming in the number five spot, we've got Bisharp. Now I've always loved Bisharp ever since Gen 5 came out. Now the thing I've probably said this about Gen 5 is that I'm not a big fan of Gen 5. There's just a lot of things wrong with it and... Yeah, a lot of the Pokemon, like I've heard people say this before, there's so many Pokemon in Gen 5 that pretty much repeat of old Pokemon. I'm not going to go into detail what they all are, but Bisharp was a Pokemon that I just loved. Definitely one of my favourite Gen 5 Pokemon. I mentioned him in my honourable mentions of my Dark type video. I just love Bisharp. The dual typing of Steel and Dark, or Dark Steel, I cannot remember. Either way, it's awesome, and I just love the design for it. It has this slick, awesome design. Real good physical attacking Pokemon. I just, <laughs> I've always loved Bisharp. I used Bisharp most of the times when I played a black or white game. I just loved it. So yeah, Bisharp is in the number five spot. In the number four spot, we've got Agron. Now, with my love for Gen 3, you're probably not that surprised to see Agron on this list. I always loved Agron. Agron's just huge. He's awesome. He's just a monster. I just love his design. Love its attacks. I just love Agron so much. Used Agron so many times. Agron got a Mega Evolution Gen 6, which I haven't used a whole lot yet, but the design for Mega Agron is just insane. He just looks even cooler than what he already did. I've heard a couple people bag on Agron. I don't think there's really much wrong with it. I always loved Agron. One of my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon. That's not saying much though, because I love pretty much all Gen 3 Pokemon, except for a couple. I know I pretty much say the same thing about all these Pokemon when I do my top fives, but there really isn't much else to go by. I've just, I've used Agron Agron a lot and I just I've always loved Agron. I really haven't found any issues with it yet. Like I know there's issues with it, but I don't really have issues with it. It's a good defensive Pokemon. It's a good attacking Pokemon. Got an awesome design, awesome moveset. It just has a lot going for it. I just love Agron. Agron is in the number four spot. Coming in the number three spot, we've got Metagross. Now you already know how much I love Metagross. Metagross is just awesome. When I first played Omega Ruby and I got the shiny event Beldum. That was adamant. I was just in shock. It was just exactly what I wanted for its nature. It just became one of my best Pokemon, if not my best Pokemon in Omega Ruby. And at the moment, that's like my main game. That's where I have like all my Pokemon. That's where I have all my best Pokemon, where I do all my like online battles and stuff. But yeah, I just <laughs> love Metagross. He's just huge, awesome. In the anime, I've loved Metagross in the anime. In the Pokemon Mega Evolution specials, if you haven't seen them yet, I highly recommend them. Steven's Shiny Metagross is just awesome. It just wrecked everything. It went up against Alan's um, Mega Charizard X and it just destroyed it. <laughs> I just love Mega Metagross in the games. Like, that is Steven's main Pokemon. And in the games when you battle him in the Elite Four, I remember when I played a Mega Ribbon Alpha Sapphire and when you go up against this Mega Metagross, you really got to have something that can beat it because otherwise it just Giga Impacts you and you get your ass kicked. The only good thing about that was that Giga Impact, you had to recharge the next uh, move. But... Still, <laughs> that move alone just took out your Pokemon straight away. Didn't matter what it was. Well, unless it was a ghost type. But anyway, Metagross is just awesome. You know how much I like Metagross. Love its typing. Love its moves. Love its design. Love its shiny design. Metagross is just an absolutely awesome Pokemon. A personal favorite of mine. Metagross is in the number three spot. Coming in the number two spot, we've got... Sizzle. Sizzle is so awesome. Sizzle was easily one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon, if not my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. I already loved Scyther, and then we got Sizzle. Made me laugh though, the completely different design they gave Sizzle. It goes from having blades to having claws, but it really doesn't bother me because it looks awesome. Sizzle's design's much better than Scyther. Love Scyther's design, don't get me wrong, but Sizzle it's just got that awesome red sleek looking design. Super fast, super good in the attack. It's just an awesome Pokemon to use. It's got great defense. It's dual typing a bug and steel. I was only looking up recently, like the resistances and immunities and everything for Scizor, and it's just awesome. Bug Steel is just a really good dual typing. I bet the makers of Pokemon knew when they made Scizor that Scizor is gonna become a fan favorite. It's just awesome. I absolutely love Scizor. The only sucky thing about Scizor is having to trade 
Scyther with a metal coat. I hate trade evolutions. I know it's part of the game. I've said this before probably. I just, it just annoys me. But other than that, when you get a Scizor, and I've got a level 100 Scizor, that's just awesome. Absolutely love Scizor. Scizor is in the number two spot. And coming in the number one spot, we've got Lucario. Now I've already mentioned how much I love Lucario. Lucario is amazing. Lucario was like one of the first Gen 4 Pokemon to introduce, if not the first. I can not remember. It was either that or Munchlax. One of them was. God, back when they were in the Advanced Saga in the anime, they already showed Lucario in the intro. Lucario is just amazing. I love its moves, especially like its moves when it's in the anime. It just looks awesome. And I'm talking about Aura Sphere and Bone Rush. Both of those moves are amazing. If you saw my top five fighting types, you saw I put a little bit of footage for Lucario where Karina's Lucario is fighting Ash's Pikachu and Lucario uses Bone Rush and just smacks the shit out of Pikachu. Like I said, mind you, that was a ground move and obviously it was going to do a lot of damage to Pikachu, but it was just awesome. And then using Aura Sphere, it's just awesome. It just has amazing moves. I'm not just talking about the anime now. I'm talking about the games. It just has a great move set. It's still typing. Fighting is still. It's great. It just has one of the awesomest looking designs out of any Pokemon. I just love Lucario so much. It gets a Mega Evolution and in X and Y you get given a Lucario. So I was so happy. I did not know that was going to happen. I knew so much about X and Y. A lot of stuff didn't surprise me like because I'd already known about all the Megas, all like the gameplay, a lot of stuff about X and Y. I did not know you get a Lucario. So I like had hardly used a Lucario before that. As much as I loved it, I just had hardly used it. But yeah, when I just get given even a Lucario, I was in shock. I just, it became one of my best Pokemon when I played Pokemon X. I just love Lucario so much. Lucario is easily my number one steel type Pokemon. Well, there you go. That's my top five steel type Pokemon. Like I said, if you didn't agree with my top five, make sure you let me know yours in the comment section below. And if you liked my video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in my next top five.